What if you could walk into the rainforest right now and find a section you really like? Grab it, bring it home with you to enjoy. With all the wild animals, predators, and prey. Would you do it? Using this Amazon enclosure, I glued two branches together with a little bit of moss and plants. The bedroom jungle was complete. On day one, the jungle was lonely. So I added some insects I found outside. These range from isopods to cockroaches to whatever the heck this thing is. The creepy crawlers were in full force. Just take a look at this thing. I don't know if I caught an albino ant or termite, but no tank is complete without some noisy ass crickets to keep you up at night. And they wasted no time making this place their home. But one of them wasn't so lucky. We call them not so lucky. I was just about to start CPR when this happened. Well dag damn it, this little guy was just playing possum. Now that everyone has settled in, I'm gonna make it rain. Once the rain stopped, I spotted a baby worm coming out of the earth to say hello. But guys, I missed a very crucial step. And because of this, the tank is infested with mold. But there is a natural solution. Springtails. I released my army of mold eaters into the jungle and they immediately sprung into action to abolish the mold for good. On day 20 I noticed the roly polies out in the open goofing off. They call them roly polies because the second they're in danger, they roll up into a ball. And once the coast is clear, they take off running like a bunch of cowards. Then I added some giant hissing roaches. This is Bonnie and Clyde, my poop eating fighting machines. It's day 30 and time to add our first predator. This is Mog, the ball python. I quickly fed him a frozen rat so that he would feel right at home. And he wasted no time using his muscles to strangle this little thing. Till it was more dead than it was already dead. He then stepped back to admire his kill. And began to figure out how he's going to fit this whole thing in his mouth. Using his fangs, he grabbed the head and begins to swallow it whole while choking on his fat rat down his gullop until it's all gone. Then he just kind of left without even saying thank you. The next day I found a shiny string up in the canopy and I followed it to this death trap. Out of the shadows, this evil beast emerges and completely misses. But the cricket gave her another shot and it looks like a miss because it happened so fast. But she got him. Oh, she got him good. And now she waits for the venom to do its job. An hour later, I found this cricket wrapped up like a mummy, hanging from a leaf. Anybody know what kind of spider this is? It's day 50, and something is eating my plants. This is a horned worm invasion, and we are now at war. So I called on my champion to exterminate them. This here guy is Rango, the Tokay Gecko. 
I gave him his orders and he leaped into action. And this guy is about to find out why you do not mess with the toke. Crawling across the tree branch, Ringo silently waits on the other side. The only problem is Ringo can't see him. And the worm makes it to safety. Using the suction cups as feet, this worm can move around like Spider-Man. Unfortunately, it's a dead end and he has to turn back. Then he stops the rest and that's when Rango makes his move. Well, his depth perception is a little short, so he's gonna move a little closer and throws him off the tree. Hmm. Ringo's gonna have to work on his hunting skills. Or is it this worm's alien face that freaked Ringo out? The next morning I found this alien worm sleeping with a hole in his stomach. This was not Ringo. This was something more terrifying. Wait, it's just Pablo. My centipede, he's back from the dead. He's kind of shy and he likes to bury himself. It's day 65 and all the animals have taken cover. And for good reason. A thunderstorm has swept through the jungle. But after it stopped, I noticed a strange new creature that I didn't put in here. I am calling him Big Black cutie or bbc for short but check out those antennas this guy looks like he can be a giant armored ant i decided to look around and see if there's any other animals that hitchhiked in here and there's one right there a woodlouse then something strange had caught my eye clyde was up there all by himself day after a day. Something must be wrong, guys. And I don't think I've seen Bonnie since day one. Was she hiding? Is she missing? Did Rango eat her? Why was he alone? I had to find out if Bonnie was alive. So I placed a strawberry and I waited for 30 plus days. I searched for her, and then I discovered something. There's a baby roach hiding under the leaves. She must have laid her eggs before she died. They were so cute, about the size of my fingernail, and boy were they hungry. Then I realized something. Although Bonnie is gone, her memory will still remain with these guys. And Clyde, he's no longer alone.